I can't, I can't squat over a cup, Judge. I can't, it's too painful. I like, can't, I I'm am sorry. unable to put my own socks on. I can't buckle myself. I, kn- I know it seems dramatic. I'm not, I'm not denying that it seems dramatic. I can't, I can't. I, I'm off I'm work all much. week. I'll get a doctor's note. I'll get any because I'm in so much pain. To get up from sitting down, I need help to put my socks on because I was in so much pain. All right. So, Ms. Antonovich is on probation for every raw intoxicated and controlled substance use. She's been on probation since June 6th of 2022. There was a pro- and she was sentenced to 18 months probation. There's a probation violation here in July 25th to which she pled guilty of that was of 2022. Then January 4th of 2023, another probation violation and she pled guilty. And then August 14th from another probation violation hearing that she pled guilty on, the court indicated 35 days jail suspended. We would adjourn this until today's date. She was required to submit proof of attendance at support groups, team wellness, as well as fan meetings, as well as continue with her testing. And it's alleged that um, she did report for testing August 8th, August 21st, and August 29th, and all three of those were negative. She failed to appear for testing on September 6th, also September 15th, and did not resubmit any proof of attending any fan meetings or her, her treatment with team wellness. And so, counsel? Your Honor. <laughs> My client acknowledges all the things that the court has said. However, uh, she's told me that she's been having some severe health issues uh, regarding some stomach problems. And she's told me that she has appeared uh, at the fan meetings uh, and she has been trying to comply with the court's order. Uh, She didn't know that she had to inform the court or give them records but she says she's also registered for team wellness. So she's trying to make a good faith effort to comply with the court's order. We would hope the court would uh, perhaps adjourn this to give her time to send all the proofs to the court, find out her medical condition and update the probation department in those two regards. Thank you. Okay, so um, I'm very confused, Ms. Antonovich, as to why you're indicating you didn't know that you had to submit proof of um, your attendance. That was made very clear on August 14th. I, I don't, it's not that I didn't think I had to submit proof. I don't, I don't know why I was thinking I was supposed to just bring everything today. I, I don't, I don't know why I, I, I didn't think to just like go up to the courthouse and, br- and bring it to, to Marcy. Yeah. I, I have everything right in front of me. I was all prepared today. I don't know why I was thinking. I just like had to bring it today. Okay. Well, did you bring it today? I do. I do. I have it all in front of me. I got a psyche veil done. I have papers saying that I've been going to my counseling and I have papers saying that I had like a bio social, some, like a, some kind of assessment done. I've been going to team wellness. Okay. And then I have papers from the hospital. I don't, they want me to go see a specialist. They don't know what's wrong. I, I've been ha- like for the past two weeks, like I've been in and out of work. I mean, it's some days where I can't, like I'm in so much, it sounds dramatic, but I'm in so much pain. I can't even move. Like it's embarrassing. Like they thought maybe it was constipation, but I don't, they don't think it's that. I like, even to get up from sitting down I needed help to put my socks on to put my seatbelt on because I was in so much pain okay and as as for the fan meeting I did lose the signature sheet but I but I saw you there it was only the one that they had they they only do them once a month so it would have only been one that they had before before today's date 
I and I You're I sure? did have the sign and she I'm sure if I looked around I could find it somewhere. Well, but I did get correct. it signed. And, and I did see you there, right? But I've also indicated before that me seeing you there doesn't um, count as proof. I can't testify in my own court, right? Understood. So yeah, why, I understand. That is why I cannot sign it, and just me seeing you there would not indicate um, or would not be sufficient to support that. So <clears throat> you absolutely should be looking for that paper. And okay. any future ones that you may be attending, perhaps you should take a picture of it on your phone after you get the, the signatures in the event it's misplaced. I apologize, Your Honor. And I apologize so, for being naive and not not fully understanding what what I needed to do. Did you call in to Ms. Shine to ask her about any of that, ma'am? About call her about what? About any of it. About um, what you needed to do, where you needed to send your information. Um, I your called, medical proof of your medical issues, the medical, the doctor, the hospital business that you had, the doctor appointments, proof of any of that. I the last time I talked to her was after the last court date. In August? Right. Like I don't know, like I said, I don't know why I was thinking I was just gonna supposed to present it today I not like in hindsight now I see the problem your honor could I make a suggestion just one moment I have one I have a couple more questions to ask first counsel all right <clears throat> ma'am you've missed two tests why didn't you appear for those tests because I've just been in so much pain. I, I have hardly been mobile. But yet you didn't communicate that to Ms. Shine. Correct. And ma'am, how is there supposed to be any consideration given when you're not communicating? I apologize, Your Honor. I made a mistake. If you're testing today, ma'am, what would be in your system? My methadone. Anything else? Nothing else. I'm sorry, and counsel, what was your suggestion? Well, Your Honor, I was going to ask if the court pleases uh, to maybe set this matter for perhaps uh, September 27th, where she can come in in person with her updated documents. With by that time, perhaps she will have time to see a physician with a diagnosis and just to update her. I think, Your Honor, she's she's being less responsible than she needs to be, but she has good intentions in that she appears to be com complying. How would she know you were at the meeting if she didn't attend? I understand that's not proof, but Your Honor, she is trying to make some effort. And I think that if the court asks her to appear on an adjourned date, she will appear. Is that correct, ma'am? That is correct. Well, good. You're going to go test today, and you're going to appear here on Wednesday. This Wednesday, Judge, on the 27th, the 20th. Mr. Serrano's back. I can't. I can't. I'm in too much pain. I, I'm off work all week. I'll get a doctor's note. I'll get anything I need to get. I have, I'm, t I'm off work all week because I'm in so much pain. Ma'am? I know, I know it seems dramatic. I'm not I'm not denying that it seems dramatic, but I've never dealt with pain like this in my entire life. Like I am unable to put my own socks on. I can't buckle myself. I'm in a lot of pain. I like it's to the point where sometimes I can't even move. I don't move for hours. I don't touch my phone. I don't do anything. You're telling me that your stomach pain 
is so severe that you cannot put on socks or even buckle your seatbelt. I'm telling you that, Judge. I'm telling you that. It's sharp. I have sharp, sharp pain in my abdomen. And it's been like that for how long? About a week and a half now, going on two weeks. It started about two weeks ago. It hasn't been, it's, it hasn't been this severe the whole time, but it's been pretty bad. And so you went to the hospital and with your level of pain, and they refer I'm sorry, what's that? I was gonna say they referred me to a specialist. That's all they did. I feel like I don't get treated. I feel like I don't get taken seriously at the hospital because of my medical history as an addict. I mean, not not that that matters. All they did was refer me to a specialist. Okay. And your methadone, how often do you receive that? Daily. And so you have to go to the clinic to get that, correct? Or do they come to right. you? And I've missed a lot of days, and I've had days where they've been bringing my dose out to the car for me. Okay. And ma'am, I can appreciate that, but you've missed two tests. You haven't communicated. And given um, the... history that of your violations and your use, <clears throat> I am making sure that you are not using. You need to go test today. I believe that they reopened it. I don't know if it's four or five. I don't recall. Judge, I can't. I, I will get doctor's notes. I will get anything I need to get. I can't. I'm in too much pain, Judge. How are you going to get I, a doctor's notes if you can't make it to the doctor? I don't know. I can't, I can't squat over a cup, Judge. I can't, it's too painful. I can't, I'm sorry. How, man, how do you, I mean, you're going to the bathroom on a regular basis, I would presume. And I'm sitting on the toilet for hours. I don't, I really don't want to discuss this. Okay. Ma'am, this is what I'm indicating to you. You have missed two tests. You have not communicated with this court. I'm going to reschedule you for Wednesday for you to submit, all, bring all of your documentation in. But you are going to test today. Is there something that's going to show up in your test? Yes. And what is that? But no, but that's judge. I don't, I don't have a problem with submitting a dirty test, judge. I'm in a lot of pain. I'll I'll do a mouth swab. I'll, I'll, it's that's not the issue. It's the pain. Yeah. <clears throat> it has it right here on my. On my team, mental health, my last relapse. I'm not trying to hide anything from the court. Every everything I've told team team mental health is the truth, and it's all right here on my paperwork that I I'm willing to submit to you guys. I'm not trying to hide anything from the court. I'm oh, I'm in a lot of last relapse. When you I'm say, sorry. When, when, does it when does it indicate the, the date of your last relapse? My last relapse? Let's see. My evaluation was the 6th. Of September? Of September, and it said two days. It says two days ago. Which would coincide with your missed test of September 6th. And when's the last time you used fentanyl, ma'am? Two weeks ago. Two weeks ago. 
And what did you just use within the last week? Nothing. Now, your missed tests are problematic. I, apo I, I apologize, Judge. I, no, I, I, I don't. Man, your, your insistence on not being able to go test today is problematic because I think there's something else going to show up other than just fentanyl. So, what else is going to show up? Probably cocaine. There we go. And when did you last use cocaine? A week ago. Okay, so tell me what you've used within the last few days. Because Nothing, there's something, Your Honor. Well, no, listen, listen. I'm not stupid. So tell me what's going to show up in your system that you've used over the last five days or so. Cocaine. Okay, you just said that that's been a week ago. Right. So, so I, but I, I, so I would assume, assume it would still come up in my system. When the last time you used cocaine, ma'am? A week ago. Okay. Well, you know what, ma'am? Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to indicate that, um, perhaps I'm not going to adjourn this council for two more days. I think I'm just going to have. Ms. Antonovich served the balance over 35 days and um, can be done. Close this matter out. There, there's Your no Honor, way out. Your Honor, with her level of pain, whether it be self-induced or something that needs medical attention, putting her in jail for 35 days is going to not help her medical condition or her withdrawal other than being separated from drugs, of course. But uh, I think that my client's trying to be forthright. It's just right now she's at a point where she's confused as to what exactly she should do. I would ask her, and I've told her, to keep the probation department advised of her updates of all the drugs that she's on or mm -hmm. prescribed, et cetera. It's, it's well, punitive. Counsel, counsel, quite frankly, I think at this point, jail would be helpful to your client to help save her life from her continuing use of the drugs that she is not, number one, permitted to use because it's illegal. Number two, permitted to use because she's on a jail review with this court and she'd already had, she'd already been on probation. So quite frankly, I think it's more of a life-saving measure for your client at this point. Well, and your it's honor- Just with what, the amount what, of pain. Hang on, Ms. Santinovich. Your honor, the court said in the past that Wayne County Jail is not doing all they should for treating or putting people in some type of treatment program. Has that been reinstated now? I mean, could she get I'm treatment? Clear they, hold on, let me, clear, let me clarify. I did not say that they are not doing all that they should. I didn't say those words. What I indicated is that there used to be a program that individuals could be tethered to specific treatment through the Wayne County Jail. Right. That had been suspended for a while. It's my understanding that it is that. So I'm going to indicate 35 days jail for your client, and she has to be tethered to treatment through Team Well through the Wayne County Jail at Team Wellness. When shall she report, Your Honor? Today, ma'am, you have so to come to the police department. No, she's going. You have to email in to Miss Shine, and she will give you the information as to how to report. Thank you. There, there's no way I can go to a treatment center? You're going to a treatment center. It's going to be through the Wayne County Jail. They're going to send you to a treatment center, ma'am. It's going to be Team Wellness. I didn't know Team Wellness had an inpatient. They sure do. Okay, I didn't know that. Yes, you need to email in to Ms. Shine as soon as you're done here. Yes, Your Honor. And you're going to report today? Yes, Your Honor. Thank you, Your Honor. 